Potentiator. Potentiometer. Potentiator. Potentiator. Hey, mom. Uh, I'm being interviewed right now. You want you want to say hi? Let them know you're my mommy. My mom. Say hi. Say hi. Everybody's like, this is like we in the, in the interview, so. Say again. Oh, that he's a good child. He's a good son. And he's talented. And I'm, and I'm handsome. Take a cat over a dog any day. Why? Cats are crazy. Like cats are so smart. Like you don't have to teach a like a cat how to shit on like litter box. A dog is just. I'm a Leo, so I feel like my connection with a cat is so strong. The sun will merge with Neptune on the fourth. I'm a Leo because I was born in July, on the 27th. How do you see it in your life, though? How do you see it in your character? Uh, I got a lot of courage. I ain't scared of nothing. I could do a lot. I'm 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 not afraid to be who I want to be. All right. What are your top three goals for 2018? Top three goals? Yeah. More shows. More tunes. More relationships. I left school and two weeks later I went right into that. It was like this strict military theme program. Like, you gotta wake up at the ass crack of dawn, you gotta like get in the hallway, you gotta wear BDUs. And you gotta march and you gotta rank up. So, yep, that was five months, couldn't go home, we didn't watch TV. I went home like once. I mean, it, at first it made me wanna like join the military. I am a soldier. I am skilled and smart. I've got the training and I've got the heart. I'm the defender of our liberty. I am the soldier. Count on. Then that died out really quick. Once I got home and What's laid that? in my bed, I was I'm not going back. I can't do that shit at all. Could not. Niggas was making fifis in there. You know what a fifi is? I'm telling you. Wrap up a towel. You know, rubber glove, there's some loot. You just sit like that. Crazy story, because I got suspended for writing a song in class, uh, and I had to lie and said it wasn't my lyrics. It's my first time writing. And it was like, yo, you, you, you can like write, like this is tight. And I was like, where? So I got grounded and I was so happy to be grounded because I knew I would be by myself with my notes. I was like, and I wrote so much. My mom came in there and like read my rap in front of me and like I wanted to die. I was like, why is she doing this? Like, <laughs> she read it for you. <laughs> yeah. What, um, what was it about? What was, this, what was the content? Basically about me jumping in like the ocean. They are using the mirror like a tool to look at parts of their own bodies they usually can't see. Swimming and watching Spongebob and... If you were a character on Spongebob, who would you be? I would be Mr. Krabs. No, that cost me twenty four ninety five. dollars Mr. Krabs, like, not even a money thing. Like, okay, that's, that's cool, but Mr. Krabs got that shit popping. Like, Mr. Krabs is like... Nigga. And he red too. <laughs> I like red. It's like listening to a song and then just fucking with the beat and nothing else. It's like, oh damn, that beat hard as shit. Send that to me. I'm gonna rap on it. Instead of listening to what that nigga actually saying, and it's like, oh no, fuck that nigga. That beat go hard. So when they listen to me and all they hear is oh, Tyler, that's, that nigga sound like Tyler. This isn't a song. I just happen to rhyme when I get emo and find time to write facts. I love it. Instead of actually listening to like what I'm delivering, it's like it's fucking crazy. It's like, yeah. I mean, that's why it's so important to me because it's just like, you gotta just listen to me. Like you gotta understand what I'm saying instead of just pointing that out. That's so lame. 
if I had a 3D printer at my house and I wanted to print shit that I needed, I would I would 3D print a charger. I wouldn't print out anything like useful. Like, it would be some small shit like that. Like you could use that for so much. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna print out a charger. Cause I need a fucking charger. It'd be like 10 inches long. Wait, hold up. 10 feet long. <laughs> What does that album need to do? Uh, Black, Black Metals. Metals. Yeah. It was just just me venting the whole album. I'm just venting about like like my non-supporters, my uh, my attempts at relationships and uh, like just my past. Cause nobody knows us now. I'ma say it. All right. I'm like. I'm like. Uh, I'm like. I'm adopted. So like, I don't know my parents. It's really sad. So not really sad. I don't really give a fuck. Why did you adopt me? <laughs> what? Why did you adopt me? It means a lot. It, it, it's like. It's it's kind of dark, but it's not too dark. And I actually had a lot of fun on it. It's definitely my favorite. I I, uh, I came on my show and I recorded it at a jam's house. Man, I think I was gonna do that. I thought I was gonna go for that weekend and never come back. I planned on doing it, right? But everybody was just so cool, so I was like, yeah, I just come back. Start with Pyrex. We when we work together, strictly work, strictly work. He he makes me like be more like me than I can be by myself. So when we work, it's like you could just feel the connections like boom. That's like my Ross. Ross here. Chuck don't got no filter. <laughs> <laughs> this man don't got no filter, bro. I've had I've heard this man say some wild Ross is a colorful person. You know, I met Ross I was in a group with Ross here called Some Ordinary Spitters, SOS, which is where I got my name from, Chuck the Spitter. Cool, cool dude. Switch it to Adiopium. Cool, cool dude. I went to military school, came out Adiopium, was like nothing. I didn't like Ross for like a year. I did not like that nigga. What didn't you like about him? What was your visceral know. take emotionally? I felt like, like once I came out of military school, I just didn't like nobody. Dude, shoot me in the elevator? It wasn't like a beef. It was more of a, like, damn, like, we tried to, like, do some shit, and it's like, any shit work out. So I guess that was like, you know, I was just holding a grudge. On Instagram, I would comment on his shit, like, you bitch. And then he'd say, you fat bitch. And I'd be like, you bitch. And then I'll DM him and we'll just roast. We came up with the idea of coming to Jam's house, Jam's basement, Jam the artist. How'd you and, come up with the idea? Hold on, hold on. How, how did you just come up with the idea? Like, oh. Jam actually called me. Jam called me and I was in the house. Okay. He was like. Yeah, what'd he say? How the, what the fuck did Jam say when he first called me? No, no, it was Niles. So you you need to call Jam right now? You need to just call him on the phone? Call Jam right quick, man. Let me call him right quick, man. If this nigga doesn't answer, it's such a fat ass. This nigga's not answering the phone. <laughs> All right, what did he say there? What did he say? We fucking answer the phone. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm fucking mad as shit. But now call me. Jam was like, I need you here. I want to put you on my new project. I fucks with your shit. And I was like, bet. Then I started procrastinating. I'm like, I'm not going to this nigga house. I don't fuck with nigga. I don't want to go to no nigga house to rap for him. Fuck that. So I did that for about like four weeks. And then he was like, yo. You gonna come over? I'm like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, I'll come over. And then I heard Rex was going, Pyrex was going over there, and I heard Ross was gonna go. So I was like, all right, I'll meet this nigga Ross. So we get there, I meet Ross in person, short as shit. Ross is short as fuck. How Ross short is are we a short. Here? Ross is like this. Like, he, yeah, 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 he'll say five, seven, like, that's a, like, 
big difference. He's short as fuck. So when I seen him, I was like, I could totally beat this nigga ass right now. <laughs> so I was like, nah. So, and then we met him. I met him and then like, it's crazy cause something clicked and I was like, we just met, dapped up. Yeah. And I was like, this might be my nigga. Like this might be my mother nigga. Like I was like, yo. And then that whole weekend, geeking, wilding, laughing, susness, sus, sus to, to the max. Fewer was, sus, okay. Yeah, I was like, bro, it felt like I knew him for like years. Like it felt like I knew him for the amount of time I knew Pyrex. Yeah, do you, so, feel, like, do you feel like there's some past life stuff going on there? Gotta be, gotta be. It's crazy. It's like, man, and I got friends that I know for years that I'm not even like that connected with. Like I, I am with Ross. Ross here. I was gonna call him a name, but I ain't gonna do that right here on your interview. Oh, you already called him short, so I don't yeah, know. So I might as well just call him. Up. So, um, and Jam, uh, I met Jam once he told me to come to his house. I met Jam. As what as a, I've heard that Jam could be like sort of a strict dickhead, but when I met him, it was none of that. I hopped in that truck and I was like, "Listen, bitch, I'm sorry that I didn't make it." I was like, not really too fond of the idea of coming. I was like, you know what, it's cool. He was like, "Bitch," and you know, cause he has he's just like he has Tourette's, so yeah, he's really fucking crazy. Yeah, okay. he does. He's gonna deny. I didn't know it. that yet. I didn't He'll know deny it when you interview him, but he's he does. He's really crazy. I'll probably be working with my idols, such as uh, like like Tyler. He'll probably get some beats from Tyler. Goblin will always be my number one. Goblin made me want to rap. Like Goblin put me in that driver's seat and I was like, gotta go. That's why when I was younger, all my raps would be like really nasty. And why, like, what made you change? The people that I was surrounded with, you know, they pushed me to, you know, find my own, my own style and stuff like that. I couldn't be like that. I've, obviously, I couldn't be like that for long. You know, I'm starting to get in more into it. And I don't want, like, even though, like, it is like that, you know, yeah, be rebellious, do what you want. But at some, you know, you just got to, like, mature. I think that's what I did with my music because I was in it. I'm in it for so long. You got to mature your music. You got to, like. Right, right. What are you working on now? What do you have coming out soon? Mm, I'm working with a project with uh, Ross here. He's producing my uh, next project. Him and uh, two other producers. It's called uh, Yellow Thoughts. It should be out whenever I decide to put it out. It'll take some time, and I I, I know people will like it. Mm. Hopefully, I can get that out there on uh, the next one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, do you have anything on Night Swim right now? Yeah, uh, I have two things out on Night Swim. Uh, my EP titled uh, Black Meadows is out now. <laughs> and I have my single Wars Back, which is on Black Meadows. So that did pretty well. Shouts out to Night Swim. Swim all night. The Carter Trey. Carter 3 was insane. <laughs> That 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 album molded me into like the rapper I am right now. Where were you the last time you listened to Tyler? In the bathroom. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Now flush. I listen to a lot of music while I'm taking a shit. I listened to Ross's album when he when he made his EP. I, I was on the toilet listening to it. Rex dropped this this project like way before I was on the toilet. Uh, I listened to a nice swim show on the toilet. It's crazy. I, I was shitting on tempo. That shit start to hurt on your legs. Look at your legs start falling asleep. And you like, damn it. So you got to switch positions on the seat. I usually just stand up in the mirror and act like I'm on stage with other niggas' music in my ears. And I'll just sit back down. How do you finish on the toilet? <laughs> 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 you really don't want to know that. I'm not gonna tell you. I know. I don't leave the bathroom until the job is done. <laughs>